y'all, it's Fines Girl, and welcome back to my channel. I have a new Dollar Tree haul for you. I've been finding a lot of new stuff, a lot of nice stuff, and so let's get started. First thing I found that I was really, really excited about, because I collect all things hedgehog, is I found this cute little wooden cutout of a hedgehog. Oh. It's got the nice little stand, so you can stand it up somewhere. You can paint it. Um, you could, I guess, decoupage over it. And cut, if you cut the, you know, the sections out, you could do a lot of things. You could leave it natural. It's really cute for decorating. I can't wait to put this out with the rest of the hedgehog things I've collected. I think he's so cute. Very, very cute. And... I bought two of them because I'm going to paint one for someone else and give that to them because they're so, so gorgeous. I love the little wooden cutouts that Dollar Tree has, and lately they have really stepped up the game and come out with some really cute things, and these are so stinking cute. And the next thing I got... Um, I found some oops, of the color buttons, thank goodness, because it's so hard to find these. Um, the only thing I ever find usually is the dark ones, and I found one of the colored ones. Actually, I have two now, which I can't remember if I've shown y'all the other one or not, but I have two, so that makes me happy. I use these actually in pocket letters and um, in making ATCs and um, usually stuff like that. But you can use them, you know, if you want to in a junk journal. I don't use them in junk journals because it creates too much um, bulk and it's kind of hard to write on the next page over. And there goes my phone. <laughs> oh, gosh. And the next thing I got... Um, I got these Easter eggs for uh, my Samaritan's purse boxes so I could put little goodies on in for, um, well, at least they didn't talk. So I, but we all get to hear that. Uh, okay. I got these because I can keep, put cute little things in there for boys. You got the football, the basketball, the soccer balls, and the baseballs. So that's pretty cool. I actually, I think, got these for my boys when they were little. <clears throat> and the next thing I got, I found this uh, cute Minnie Mouse um, design of vinyl, is what it says. And it comes with three markers. The markers are actually in the bottom of it, right there. And she looks like that. So she's pretty large size, and I'm going to put that in my Mickey Mouse box, I mean my Minnie Mouse box uh, this December, because I thought that'd be cool for somebody to color themselves, and uh, I got, oh, in the Crafter Square, they had some new dies, which I like to pick up the dies when they have them, one of them I didn't like, I thought it was pretty boring, they only had two kinds, and I've been to multiple Dollar Trees, and they only have the two, but I thought this one was awesome. That was really cool. So, I got that to run through my uh, spell binders, even though with my Cricut, I can basically make anything I want. <laughs> I still like to have some dies for my spell binders, because it's just such an easier thing that easier thing to deal with sometimes instead of getting the computer on and doing all that stuff and the next thing i found was this 250 plus sticker book i think these have been around for a while um or at least something very similar they usually have several different kinds at dollar tree i like to collect a lot of uh summer ones because i usually do some pocket letters for summer and usually some atcs and it's got really cute pictures. Really cute ones. Kind of simple, but cute. 
There's some sentiments. And what else we got? And I won't show you every single page, but um, anyway, here it goes. And what else have we got here? Looks like it probably, does it repeat? Yeah, I think it repeats after about five or six pages. And I think that's the last of the different pages. But anyway, there's a lot of stickers in there. That's a good bargain. So I picked that up. And the other thing I got um, in Crafter Square section is they had a lot of stickers that were new to me. And like I said on a previous video, um, it's kind of felt like Dollar Tree wasn't going to ever get any new stickers. And um, finally, I'm starting to see some. Not a lot, but a few. And I have a ton of stickers. So I kind of know what Dollar Tree has had and hasn't had. But um, anyway, I picked this one up. I thought that one was pretty cool. I like the color scheme. That was nice. Yeah, I like those gemstones, crystals, I guess it is. That's pretty cool. So that one's new, or at least I haven't seen it before. And I like to pick up the, um, the leaves. Stuff like that. I think that's cool. And you got some you could use for fall. Which we have a little ways till that comes along. Oh, and that one. I like that one a lot. That one's really pretty. So I got that. And they had these, which I'm pretty sure are new. I think those are cool. And um, these are awesome. That's really, really awesome. I guess that would be, is that Black Eyed Susan's and not Sunflowers? I'm not sure. Anyway, those are really pretty. Is that Black Eyed Susan's or Sunflowers? <laughs> I got a shrug. <laughs> okay, and the next one um, is just all leaves. I love this one. Love, love, love it. And the next one I got, I actually got two packs of because I thought these were really stunning. And they're poofed up a little bit with two layers. And I just love those. Those are very different. So I thought those would be cool. Picked up two. And my next thing I got um, was in the book section um, for one of my boxes. Uh, the sea box, ocean box, I picked up this I Can Draw Sea Knife. I thought that was really cool. And, you know, this is the intermediate and uh, advanced. So, I was going to put that in an older child's box, the 10 to 14. Um, I mean, the shark doesn't look that difficult to draw. Some of them... Probably are a little harder. The dolphin looks pretty simple. Um, hmm. I don't know. They don't look too bad, but then I'm an adult. Maybe the octopus would be a little difficult with all the arms going every which way. But anyway, these are really cool books. Um, and you can get also the horses, the dinos, the jungle. And I think they may have some others. I don't think if I have seen any. But anyway, this one includes the clownfish, dolphin, octopus, sea turtle, and great white shark. And there we go with that bad boy, <laughs> which freaks me out. <laughs> okay, and the next one I got is the um, I Draw Dinosaurs, or dinos as they call it. And what kid doesn't like dinosaurs? I'm going to put that in a boy's, older boy's box. And I think it's pretty cool. It's got a dino nest with eggs, um, a triceratops, a brachiosaurus, Tyrannosaurus rex, and a stegosaurus. And it has practice areas, and it tells a little bit about shading, and you got all these cute little dinosaurs. 
I just think these books would be fun. And actually, I wouldn't mind doing it. I had to draw something for a swap yesterday, a daffodil. And um, I think it came out pretty well, but it had parts that were a little bit difficult, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, but if you can um, learn to draw with some basic shapes um, and then elim eliminate those, it's easier to do. It's easier to put in what you really want to draw. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's how I drew the daffodil. Basically drew an oval with a cross through it and drew the petals and things and the stem and uh, leaves. And then I erased the parts that I didn't want. So that's one way of doing it. And for my next bag, um, I picked up uh, some of these, which I have gotten before. And it's been a while since I've seen them anywhere. Um, and I thought we weren't ever going to get them again at Dollar Tree. So I picked up two, the pink and the blue. These are great to put brads in or little beads or buttons, any kind of little thing like that. You could put small stickers in here, any of those types of things. And, oh, <laughs> I picked up some canning snap lids because you can never go wrong with those. And it comes with... 10 so got those i think it's pretty cool that dollar tree has them i just wish they'd have the rings as well um i picked up this cute little um manicure set with kitty cats that are unicorns i thought that was adorable and that's for a little girl's box next thing i got i just got some plain old um, gallon storage bags, which everybody has seen and probably has tried. I got uh, Nova some new um, barrettes, which I thought these were cute, and they kind of had like a little, a little sparkle to them. She's always losing hers, and so I picked her up some more. I picked up a pair of these knee-high women's rainbow cloud socks. I'm going to put that in my unicorn box. I thought those were pretty. So, grab those. Um, and I picked up this because uh, we were coming back from my mother-in-law's funeral and I just thought I would play in the car and put together maybe some bracelets or necklaces and and put those in boxes, but I ended up just playing a game on my phone, and so I did not get to it, but it, I'm sure everybody has seen these bead sets before with the, um, the twine, so I had picked up this and that one, and then I didn't use them, so I'll either put them together or I'll pass them off. So that's bag number two. And my last bag for this store, I got this 50 things you really need to know about ocean monsters. I thought it was cool. It's got a great white shark, box jellyfish, moray eel, anglerfish, and more. And look at that monster. He is not attractive. Not at all. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that was a really cool book to go in my ocean box. Um... It's got a, a lot of cool marine animals and stuff. Look at that cool jellyfish. I think jellyfish are really pretty, but I am scared of them. <laughs> Definitely scared of them, but not as bad as sharks, of course, because look at that monster. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. Woo! Yeah. I saw Jaws when I was a kid, and... Mm, that did it for me. Okay, moving on. I picked up this um, 3D sticker story from Jurassic World. This is great for my dino box. It looks like it's got like a, um, a little play scene. It's got dinosaur stickers and it's got the little 3D glasses. It looks like that. 
and sized perfectly to go in the box. Maybe I should stop telling y'all I've gotten things for boxes and then when you see I have toys or kids books or whatever, you'll automatically know where it's going. Um, I picked up this Disney Frozen official magazine because I thought that was really pretty. I'm not doing a Frozen box. I don't plan to do a Frozen box, but I thought that would be cool. Poor girl. Yeah. It's nice. Nice sized. Pretty pictures. Lots of colors. It's got mazes, games. Um, uh, different kind of things to do. And there's also the story to read. But the colors are bright and pretty, so yeah, I like it. And it's got a section in here that has arts and crafts, snowflake decorations. And I don't know where those are. Maybe that's in the back. I'm not sure. Also has a little game here that they can play, like a little board game with little pieces to cut out. So these are pretty cool. And it also comes in Spider-Man and Avengers and Disney Princess. So there are other choices. And the next thing I got, I got for my tear tray, um, which actually I've already set up my tear tray and I forgot that I bought these, so I'm gonna have to go add them. But I like the um, bottle brush carrots. I think those are real cute. So I'm gonna add those. I found um, some cloths that I don't have, some fabric. Um, let's see if I can get it open and show you what I picked up. I love the cloth that they have now. They really have some cool ones. I don't really care about the solids, but the ones with patterns are awesome, I think. So I found this one. That one's really cool with the mermaid ocean theme. And I like the, the colors. That one's nice. And I found, oops, if I can get it open. Ah! This one's a little bit harder to get all the sticky off. This one is unicorns. So it's very pretty. And I think now, since I bought this one, um, I had been in Dollar Tree since and found several different uh, unicorn ones. But I think that was real pretty. And the next thing I found... Um, uh, I know a lot of people hauled this. So I thought I would pick one up. And it is the Precision Facial Razor. Um, and believe it or not, in a pinch, you can use this on your legs, which I have done before. <laughs> if you don't have a razor handy and you don't feel like taking a shower and doing it or getting in the tub to shave your legs, you can actually get some... Um, shaving lotion and just zip that along your legs real quick works just as good i got some uh blender sponges which i have a lot of but um i don't have any that shape anymore and so i picked those up and they're latex free um i'm allergic to latex so it's probably better for me to use that kind Um, look out. Okay. Yeah, you smell my makeup. Okay. <laughs> All right. Y'all are crowding me up and making me lose this blue stuff. Oh, here's another cloth that I got. 
I love this one. I love the colors of it. It looks so awesome. Let me see if I can get it open. I think this one has been around for several weeks, if not months, maybe. But I just got around to picking it up. Goodness. Some dog barking outside, so of course they've got to answer back. <laughs> way I can get them to stop is to go to the door and look through the peephole and tell them that no one's there. And so that shuts them up. Because Bismarck was trained for that um, when he had some classes and the others just kind of follow along. But anyway, this is another sea themed. Oh, I just realized it's got um, unicorns on it. It's not really sea themed. It's kind of a, got all kinds of stuff on it. I thought it was a shell. It's got pineapples, ice cream, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, that's really pretty. It's got pretty colors. So I grabbed that one. And the next thing I got, I have already opened because I wanted to try it in the car. <laughs> I was dying to open it in the car, so... Um, I'll show you what the, did I lose one? Oops, why not? Oh, no, okay. Packaging looks like this. And I thought that when I picked it up that it was a different flavor and scent, but um, I still like this one. This is um, Churros. It says it's cruelty free and it is by B.I. Beauty. Um, what does that say? Intuition. B.I. Beauty Intuition. And let's see. I'll swatch it for you. If I can do that. Oops. I want to get it everywhere because it's kind of, you know, it's liquid. Whoops. It's got a nice, pretty color to it. I kind of could spread it very well. But, um, mm, it smells really good. <sighs> Just makes you want to lick it. <laughs> so, anyway, it looks like that. It smells good. It tastes good. I just really like it. Uh, now I got to get it off my wrist. Okay. And the next kind of thing I got is another lip product. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Because I love them. So, this is another one by B.I. Beauty Intuition. And um, it's a jumbo lip balm. It says it's donut flavored. And it looks like this. Can you see it? Looks like it's got little sprinkles on it, like a sprinkled donut, which actually I hate sprinkled donuts usually. But... <laughs> this is a pretty lip balm, and it's large, and let's see. It does smell like a donut. It smells good. Let's see if it has any color to it. Uh -uh, you can't have it. Bismarck wants to sample. Yeah, let's see. All right. Uh, doesn't really have a color. I can see a little shimmer, maybe, but. It doesn't have color, really. But it sure does smell good. Mm. You smell it? You smell it? it? Smells good. Okay. And I have one last thing to show you, um, which I've never seen in um, Dollar Tree. It's a new product, and I'm really excited that they had this. Um, it is an insert card set. It comes with four blank cards, four blank inserts, and four blank envelopes. And it looks like this in the packaging. And you can see where they gave an example of uh, making a card, putting some stuff on it. So I'm gonna open it and see what they actually look like. Um, you just get white envelopes. And you get, let's 
boxes. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, hmm. You get these. So there are those. And there are four of those. And let's see, are there four of these? I guess there's two of these. I don't know why. Two just plain papers. And... Oh, okay. So you get four envelopes, uh, four cards, folded cards. You get two red papers and you get two gold papers. So that's your inserts. So if you like to make cards, this kind of uh, does half the work for you. If not, you can use them in whatever paper crafting you do. You could actually... Um, Put them in a junk journal somehow if you wanted to. A lot of stuff you can do with that. So those are pretty cool. I thought that was a nice thing to pick up. And that is all I have this time. Um, I'm going to let you uh, see Nova. <laughs> it looks a little wild today. Her hair's a little bit wild. She needs to be brushed. She hasn't been brushed yet. She's Sweet girl, though. And she's kind of cold. It's cold in here today. Okay, and then I'll let you see Busy again. This March, say bye bye, y'all. Say bye bye. Boop, bye bye. Yep. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a good evening, and I'll see you later. Peace.